Ansel Adams said that the negative is the sheet music and the print is the symphony. The negative is everything, but the print is all. Everything we do is in service of the print. And when I was the host of the Epson Print Academy, the one thing that Epson had me say at the very beginning was this. If you want to have the single greatest impact on your prints, calibrate your monitor. Before you do anything, before you buy anything, if you don't have a monitor calibrator, go out and buy one. Pretty big stuff from a company that sells printers. The single greatest impact that you can have on your images is to calibrate your monitor. By calibrating your monitor, you will absolutely know exactly what it is that you're getting when you look at the screen. So we're going to take a look at how to calibrate a monitor and build a printer profile. Now, the device that I'm going to use is the one that I use in the field, which is an X-Rite Color Monkey, because it can calibrate a monitor, it can make a printer profile, and you can also use it if you have um, a projector to calibrate the projector as well. But what you're about to see holds true for pretty much every device but we're going to take a look at this device because we have to pick one and, well, this is the one that I use. So let's start by launching the software. When we launch it, we're going to get this dialog box. We have three choices. Match my printer to my display, profile my display, profile my printer. We're going to profile a display, so let's click on that. We have three choices, LCD, laptop, and projector. In this instance, it's an LCD. I'm going to select Easy and I'm going to click Next. What's now going to come up is this dialog box. It's going to tell me that the device is connected and that I'm going to have to set the device here. So let me show you how to do that. It's fairly straightforward. We're in this position right here, and what we're going to do is go from there to there. Now that we have that, we're going to click Calibrate. What's going to happen now is the device is going to calibrate itself. It's going to check to see that everything's in order and that it's right and that it's good to go and that it's zeroed itself out so that it now has a known set of variables that are programmed into it and it's going to match those. And once that's done, we're going to move into the next phase, which is calibrating the monitor. Okay, so as you can see right here, we're going to move this so that into the calibration position. So let's back that out. It's fairly straightforward again. Click right there. And once that's done, we click Next. Now, this is the only time you use this gadget. And that's why I generally don't put it in the bag. But what we're going to do is put it in the bag, zip it up, and then place the color monkey right there on the square, just like that, and click Next. What's going to happen is that the software is going to run through a series of colors at different values and it's going to measure what are the known quantities and what are the measured quantities. It's going to build the profile and it's going to zero out the monitor. So that what I see on the monitor is going to be what it is that I'm going to get in a print. So that I'm not calibrating the monitor, an uncalibrated monitor for, as a correction curve for the monitor. For example, I can make it look beautiful on an uncalibrated monitor, and when I make a print, the print will tend to be magenta. And the reason why that is, is monitors tend to be blue. So what occurs is I'm adding the appropriate amounts of color to compensate for the blueness of the monitor, but the printer is going to print what it is that I send it. So I will get a file that does not look like the monitor. Here, what's going to occur is what I see is what I get. So now we have created a profile, and what's going to come up is it's going to, I'm going to get the reminders. One week, two weeks, four weeks. I usually set this at one week, but what I tend to do, um, anytime I'm going to do mission critical work, I will calibrate my monitor. When we do these videos, when I work on big art, I will always make sure that my monitor is calibrated. Is it necessary? It makes me feel good. But at least once a week, you should calibrate the monitor. And that's a very important thing, and you can set the software up to do it. So what we're going to do now is we're going to hit Next. And I can take a look at Before, After. And the reason why you're not going to see much difference is because I calibrate my monitor quite frequently. We'll hit Next, and we're done. Now that we've done that, let's build a printer profile. Now that we've calibrated our monitor, what we're going to do is build a printer profile using the Color Monkey. Now, what's going to happen is we're going to print out two test charts or targets that are going to look like this. 
So I've already done the, the target, so let's take a look at how to create the target. So we're going to come over here to our interface and we're going to click Profile My Printer. And what you're going to get is this dialog box. Create a new profile or optimize an existing profile. We'll talk about that in a moment. Next, we're going to select Choose Printer. Now, I'm going to be printing on the Epson 3800, and I tend to name all my printers after my favorite photographers, and Ernst Haas is one of my two favorite photographers. We're going to give this a name that has meaning, and the meaning for this is going to be Epson underscore Velvet Fine Art VFA underscore 2880 for the resolution, and then the date, which is 06-01-09. So that tells me everything I want to know about this profile in the name. I'm going to click Next, and I'm going to get this dialog box, which is going to show me what the target looks like. I'll hit Print. I'll look at all of this and hit Continue, and what I will get is my printer dialog box. Now I'm going to select the printer. I'm now going to select printer settings. And these are the things that I'm going to make sure happen. First thing is I'm going to take a look at the sheet feeder. Now I'm going to be using Velvet Fine Art, which means that I want the manual rear on the Epson 3800. I'm now going to select the paper type that I want. In this case is Velvet Fine Art. So I'll select that. Now the printer mode. I want to make sure that color mode off, no color management, high speed off, and select Super Photo 2880. It doesn't matter whether 16-bit is clicked or not clicked for building this profile. We're going to hit print, and what will occur is that we're going to print this target. Now what's very, very important is that you need to let the target dry for about 10 minutes. The reason why you need to let the target dry is studies have shown that it's about 10 minutes for the ink on most papers to set and to guarantee that there's absolutely no color shift. So we've printed the, we've printed the target, we've let it dry for 10 minutes, and what we're going to get is this. Now we're going to click, I already have printed my target, which we have, and let's hit next. What will now come up is this dialog box right here, where you're going to see all of the different, let me zoom in here so you can see that, where you can, you're going to see all of the different patches. What we're going to do is measure this patch on the paper, and when we're done, it will move to the next one. If this comes in red, what that means is that we didn't measure the target correctly. So now we're going to measure the target. 